how to make a pizza algorithm in Fortnite. Since the dawn of time, humans have been on a quest to find the best way to teach algorithms and programming. Then they got hungry and invented pizza. And while they ate, an idea hit them. A pizza is an algorithm, and algorithms are used in programming. Welcome to Verse. I have an ancient document here that historians agree is the best known way to make algorithms. Let's take a read. An algorithm is a sequence of instructions that solves a problem or accomplishes a task. By following an algorithm or recipe, you will accomplish the task of making a pizza. Well, I've always wanted to make an algorithm, so this is exciting. Let's take a look at step one. Step one, identify your goal. My goal is to follow an ancient process or recipe to make an algorithm pizza. Step two, identify your requirements and constraints. Hmm, requirements for pizza would be anything that falls under what I need to make a pizza, and that could mean knowledge or items. Well, I need ingredients, obviously. Lots of cheese, that's essential. Cooking instructions would be nice. I may have burnt a thing or two before, but let's not talk about that. For constraints, it's basically the opposite. Anything I don't know or have would be a constraint. Like I mentioned, I'm not the best with an oven, so maybe I should learn how to use all those buttons instead of just randomly hitting them and hoping for the best. My lack of oven know-how is called a knowledge gap. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. We all have them, and we can always learn. But that's why it's so important to go over requirements and constraints before starting any task. Now I'll go and learn how to use an oven probably, before I do anything else. Step three, divide the problem into smaller parts. This step is crucial. I know when I'm faced with a large problem, I can sometimes feel overwhelmed. But I've found that if I break down the whole task into smaller, more manageable pieces, that feels doable. So let's give it a go with this pizza making business. I'd love to make everything from scratch, so let's look at the ingredient list. Oh no, wait. The top of my ingredient list is cheese. You know, I'm not really looking to buy a cow, milk it, learn how to make cheese. So my idea of making everything from scratch needs to be modified. Step four, think of solutions to the smaller problems. As I'm working my way through my list of smaller problems, I'm noticing I can reuse previous solutions to solve similar problems. With the cheese example, I'm gonna go buy cheese, lots of cheese, along with anything else I need. I've decided I'm not making everything from scratch, but I think making my own pizza sauce would be fun. As I break down that recipe, I see it calls for olive oil. Well, I'm trying to eat tonight, so I'll be buying my olive oil and not planting an olive tree. <laughs> Obviously, there's more than one solution to all these smaller problems, but by thinking them through, a solution that works best becomes clear. Additionally, some parts may depend on previous steps. I need to grate my cheese before I put it on my pizza, apparently. Step five, execute the plan. To make my pizza, this will be my algorithm. One, learn to use my oven. Two, go grocery shopping. Three, make pizza sauce, which has a lot of sub steps. Four, after learning how to use an oven, I now know I need to preheat it first. Five, roll out the pizza dough. Six, dump on lots of cheese. Seven, add the toppings I want. Controversial, but I love an anchovy. Eight, season. Nine, bake. 10, cut. 11, eat. Step six, analyze and test the problem and solution. Let's look at what I've made so I can find ways to improve the process. Well, the pizza looks baked correctly thanks to learning how to use my oven. Oh no, I forgot to add pizza sauce. It's okay, the document did mention that even programmers forget steps in their algorithms and those algorithms sometimes still work with some unexpected behaviors. Who knows, maybe I'll like my pizza better without sauce. And if not, I'll add it next time. There you have it, the ancient algorithm for making a pizza. I've been talking about pizza, but this works for programming too. The programs you write could just as easily be called recipes. When a computer runs your program, it's executing your instructions. A programming language is simply a way to express those instructions. 
Make sure to double check your steps with both pizza making and programming. And remember, you can rework either based on the tools and the ingredients you have. Well, I think you're ready to create games with Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Follow this process and I'm sure you'll be making an algorithm for the history book in no time.